Hi there, welcome to Dipka Power. My name is Bart Schleimer and today I want to speak with you about a water fuel emulsions. Uh, we're going to talk about the technology, our system, where it is installed inside your fuel system and last but not least uh, how you need to operate it. The main technology used in the water fuel emulsion system is a homogenizer. The homogenizer is a rotor spinning at 3000 rpm to create a fluid churning force to reduce the fuel droplet size from a 70 to a 3 micron. The homogenizer is not a pump, so fuel can always pass when the homogenizer is not running. 60 to 70 percent of the benefits from the water and fuel emulsion system are coming from the homogenizer. The smaller the fuel droplet, the more content area for the oxygen, the more complete the combustion. With the use of the homogenizer, we can add up to 20% distilled water to the fuel and create a water and fuel emulsion. With the emulsion, we can reduce the combustion temperature, so there will be less NOx and particle matter emissions. The benefits of the water fuel emulsion system are a 2% fuel saving, 90% emission reduction on particle matter and soot, and an up to 20% reduction in NOx. Here you can see the FID injector with its main components, the homogenizer, water pump, water tank, main cabinet and several valves and sensors. The FID injector is installed between the booster feed pump and mix tank, so before the booster circulation. This way the system will always be able to precisely add the required water percentage. At the display of the FID injector, you can go to the fuel overview to see all the data from the fuel. You can go to the process overview to see all the data from the water. And you can go to the alarm overview to acknowledge alarms. As you can see, we are currently running at 41 degrees Celsius. This is because we are running on a loop oil at our factory. In the head of the FID injector, you see several LED lights. You got the FID run, the standby and the fault. When you start the system at a 0% water, only the fuel homogenizer will operate. You will see the FID run light and the standby light at the same time. If you start to inject water to the fuel, you go to process overview, you put the water set point for example on 5% and press enter. At the same time you see that the yellow standby LED is going off. If you put the water percentage back to 0%, you see that the yellow standby light is coming in again and also the water injection is stopped. Let's have a look at the standby modus of the system. As you can see the system is in operation at 5% water. We will stop the fuel pump and we will let the system enter the standby modus. You will see the yellow light will come in. When we start the fuel pump again, you will see that the yellow light will start to flash and a countdown will start. You have a 300 seconds countdown before the system is able to restart again. In case something goes wrong, you can always press the emergency stop. This will not block your fuel flow, but will only stop the FID injector from operation. To restart again, go to the alarm page and press acknowledge. One of the most frequently asked questions is, is the system really injecting water to the fuel? Uh, we can show you. Put the system in 5% for example, connect the flexible hose to the freeway valve and put the other end in the bucket. You can see the system is injecting water to the fuel. The system is also able to operate on an external water set point. This set point is coming from your automation. To select the external set point, you need to go to the process overview Go to the second page with the use of the arrow. Here you can see there is an internal and an external set point possibility. 
If you press enter, the system will select the other set point. Here for example, we are having a 10% external set point coming from the automation. Like any other system, also the water fuel emulsion system requires maintenance. Please clean the non-return valve and the water tank like described in the maintenance manual. Thank you very much for your attention. In case you got any questions, please feel free to send them at info at ipcopower.com.